Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and it is still, we're about April 19th today, and we still have cold weather. So, we're going to be using this mini split. A lot of you have been asking how it's working out, and it's, it's great. It, it is great for heat, and it's great for air conditioning. So, I got the heat up there set on, let's say, 71. So, we'll turn that on, and we'll get cranking up. So I'm working on this Cub Cadet, it has a common problem that a lot of these Briggs engines have. These are pretty good engines, it's this uh, uh, single head, um, 17 horsepower vertical engine, and I'll let you listen to it. So we'll go to start it, got to sit on it, there we go. So you can hear it kind of thumping and running rough, okay? And the common problems with the, these engines are the head gaskets blow. So I already replaced the head gasket in this thing. And the other thing that happens is the needle in the seat leak. And that lets gas into the crankcase. So if we take a look at this, uh, you'll see that oil's dripping really fast. And it's kind of cold out. And uh, if you smell it, it definitely smells like gas. So I already went through this carburetor. I cleaned the needle and seat. I actually even took some valve grinding compound, very fine, and buffed out the seat area. And um, yeah, no results. So uh, it didn't fix the problem. And the solution to this is one of two things. I have a video on how to replace the seat, okay? And that was done maybe five years ago, maybe even more. But the other way to do this is just to replace the carburetor. I just got a carburetor in from Amazon in like two days. And I believe this carburetor, now it's, it's generic, comes with the fuel shutoff solenoid. I think this thing was 14 bucks. I can't buy a needle and seat for that amount. So this is the way to do it. And uh, we're going to go through and do it. And th unfortunately, I'm doing it twice. So I should have just bought the carburetor the first time. But live and learn. Here we go. So I'm going to be using my oil extractor. We're going to take out the oil and the gasoline that's in here. And this is a Harbor Freight tool. I use it all the time. Really helpful. So we put that in there. It works off an air compressor. And we'll just let it suck everything out of there. Oh, I guess I should mention, if you have this problem, your engine may not crank because there's too much pressure in the crankcase. Uh, my battery, I just happened to charge up and it's a, the battery's only about a year old, so this one's still able to crank. Although I did clamp off the fuel line so not too much fuel would run out of that tank and fill the crankcase. So I removed the left side of the hood so I could gain access. So we're going to be working right in here. And we'll give ourselves a little light from my tool cart. And we'll start taking this apart. I already have the fuel line clamped off because I realized that the uh, gas was leaking through. I knew it was leaking through because I tried to start it and it was fighting to start. Too much pressure.
All right, guys. So I got that carburetor in there, everything back together. I filled up the oil, and this is going to be our maiden voyage. It should run smooth without popping. And uh, I'm going to keep an eye on oil, even though we have a new carburetor. We just want to make sure it doesn't mix with gas. I think I'm actually going to mow the lawn with this thing today. Thanks for watching guys, I'll link how to replace the needle and seat in the carburetor down below the video.